Today is the summer solstice, the longest day of the year. And in some parts of the country, it's the hottest so far. And it could be too hot for your smartphone. Tonight, Jamie Tucker shows us why heat is bad for your battery and looks at the best practices to keep your phone from having a heat stroke. Everyone knows you should never, ever leave a smartphone sitting in the sun. You've probably seen this warning before. The phone shuts down, can't be used until it cools down. But some of the things you may be doing with and on your phone during the heat can cause problems too. Now first, let's talk about inside the car. Yeah, it's easy to forget you've tossed the phone on the seat beside you. Keep it out of direct sunlight, even if you've got the air conditioner going full blast. That includes putting the phone on the dash to use it as a GPS. Apple warns that playing video games, watching movies, or using the phone as a GPS while on charge will raise the internal temperature and in time will shorten the battery's lifespan. Charging it with cheap chargers you find at a gas station is even worse for the battery. So what should you do if you see this temperature warning screen? Get it out of the sun and into a cool, dry place. Remove the case to let it cool. When it turns back on, turn it off and let it sit for about 30 minutes, but do not put it on a charger. And do not put your phone in the refrigerator or freezer to cool it down faster. It doesn't work. Look what happens when I put an old phone in a fridge for just five minutes. When I took it out, condensation. Remember, that's happening inside the phone, too. Getting that temperature warning once or twice probably won't permanently damage the phone. However, repeated overheating will damage the battery to the point you may have to replace the smartphone sooner than you'd like. That's What the Tech. I'm Jamie Tucker.